What's up everybody? It's your boy AB. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's Call of Duty mobile video. And boys, today we're talking about a decision made by the Call of Duty mobile team that is starting to piss everybody off. As many of you will know, we are currently in Season 9 Orbital Raiders. Leading up to the release of this brand new season, there were plenty of leaks and things to get excited about when it came to Season 9. It looked like we would be getting a new Alchemy Stars event, a new mode. There would be new Alchemy Stars Lucky draws and one feature that really stood out to a lot of players was going to be the inclusion of a brand new weapon camo that looked very similar to the aurora borealis zombies mastery camo from modern warfare 3. well it turned out that this weapon camo is only available to the Garena players call of duty mobile servers are basically divided into two regions there is the Garena slash asian servers and then there are the global servers that serve north america the uk and beyond that way i don't know why they divide it i'm not too sure why the game got divided into two regions but it is what it is i'm pretty sure with a little bit of research i could find out but uh, i'm just too lazy at the moment <laughs> <laughs> Once the global player base realized that they would not be getting the new camo, they raised their voices up, they reached out to the Call of Duty community team, and finally earlier today we did get a response from the Call of Duty mobile team. We're happy to see so much excitement around the Alchemy Stars event and camo. For now this event is a test we're conducting in some countries in Asia due to partnerships specific to this region. We occasionally run tests in select regions and whatever brings the most delight to players, we roll out globally. We understand the desire for this event to be available globally and are exploring how we can bring its best elements to all players in a future season. They do close out this statement by saying that they plan to bring some of these elements in future seasons. So I guess us global players shouldn't really expect any content, at least this Alchemy Stars event in this current season. They're stating they want to bring it for future seasons. So it could be something that we could get in season 10, season 11, uh, maybe for 2025. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's no way of knowing for sure, right? So I don't think we should really expect any of this content content at least on the global side during season nine which is very unfortunate and it's something that is pissing off a lot of players first it was the lack of communication because there was a lot of confusion people didn't know what was going on with this alchemy stars event was global gonna get the event was global gonna get the new mode why are the camos in the global files why can we apply it to our weapons why is it there and how do we unlock it well it turns out that you can't unlock it and when people were asking questions on discord the community leaders there didn't know what was going on or they acted like they didn't know what was going on and their official response got downvoted so many times it was hilarious and now the official twitter page made an official announcement and um it's it doesn't really give fans a lot of hope because while season nine in Garena is popping off and people are enjoying the new content season nine on global basically feels like more of the same the same ranked features the same maps, the same stuff, right? Why is it that one region gets more content more frequently while the other region isn't it which is which is very very strange one thing to remember is that this is a collaboration with a game called alchemy stars it may not be very popular here in the u.s maybe some of those elements don't translate well to the global player base to the global servers and of course this being twitter twitter is going to do what twitter does and twitteries in the twitter universe tweeted out their responses cosmic ghost says just add the camel in the tournament section i don't want that trash event i think for the majority of global players i think that is basically what we want we want the camo we don't really care for a half-baked half-assed mode i have seen some gameplay of that mode and it does look like it's it's something is it is it the best something maybe not yeah basically we don't really care about that mode what we really care about is that camo because that is something to grind for it's something to earn the last few special camos from the call of duty mobile tournament events during the weekends haven't really been the best some of them are just mid some of them are ugly some of them look really nice in the menus but then when you apply it to your gun and you look at it in the game it actually looks like trash it looks completely different than the menus but this one here the aurora borealis is something that is beautiful and it looks fantastic on most guns another person here too new for you says hey the community doesn't care about 
about the collaboration, just give us a way to grind the camel in the global version. That's it. Which again, reiterates that sentiment that, hey, we don't care about this event. We don't care about this collaboration. We just want the camo. The camo is already in the game. You can easily give us a different way to acquire it. Why are you making this so difficult? Why are they making it so difficult? And we've actually seen this done before. There was a previous collaboration with Girls Frontline or Frontline Girls, something like that. It was another like anime game or something. And there was some events and some collaboration skins and stuff that never really made it to the global side. It stayed on the Garena side. So there is a chance that we may never see some of this content on the global side. The specific element from the statement that is pissing everybody off is this part here. We occasionally run tests in select regions and whatever brings the most delight to players, we roll out globally. When it comes to the Call of Duty mobile player base, guys, you deserve the best of the best. We test things, we collect data, and we decide what you will like. And you know what you guys want? No, it's not camos. No, it's not a new event. It's not a new mode. You know what you really want? You want more lucky draws. Oh boy, if the fans weren't pissed off yet, this one is going to send them into a riot because Call of Duty Mobile is still planning to include the Alchemy Stars lucky draws. And we are all quite aware of how predatory and expensive these lucky draws are. So they have no problem promoting Alchemy Stars through their lucky draws, which is very funny because I thought we weren't going to get any of that content on the global side. How can they release Collab's lucky draw without any problem but can't bring its event and camo. This makes no sense. I've mentioned many times that COD M Global has turned into a draw making simulator over the past few years. The way COD Mobile Global treats its players, especially with the lack of good updates for the Battle Royale over the last two years is truly disappointing. Yes, Warzone Mobile might be the part of the reason, but the way COD Mobile players are being treated is one of the worst things a company can do. As an Indian CC and a part of the COD M Creators Club, we no longer have direct contact with the global team. The global team has been inactive for the past one and a half to two years for Indian COD mobile creators, we don't have any direct communication with COD M to discuss issues or give feedback on what's right or wrong. Meanwhile, big creators like Bobby Ferg and a few others have direct contact with the COD mobile team and are always involved in any COD M events. Your favorite creators haven't raised their voices about the situation, so please tag these so-called creators and ask them why they aren't doing anything or tell them to show some concern. After all, they are big because of you and the COD mobile audience. And now going back Back to this original statement, we do see that there was a reply from Ferg. Ferg replied, I'll be waiting for that camo in global. And getting a reply from Ferg underneath a situation like this is huge because he should be the biggest advocate for the global player base. Ferg is not in Garena. Ferg is on global. But boy, oh boy, did the people decide to roast my boy. You're a joke. Another one says, oh, you finally decided to speak out about this topic. I wish you did it way earlier. Same with the other topics, GF collab, missing PON collab stuff, outdated rank systems, etc. Cisco replied with, I'll give you something to wait for. Hey, yo, what the hell does that mean? If it came out, the rat sold of Activision that said that Warzone Mobile would be the best game. And in the end, it was a failure at the beginning and returned to COD Mobile as if nothing. Clown, what happened? Rat, come now if you does if you deign to say something um i'm not exactly sure what this person was trying to say but i think he's trying to call out ferg for promoting warzone mobile and claiming that it was the best call of duty game out there and then going back to call of duty mobile something like that and to a certain extent it seemed like fans were holding ferg accountable to represent them in this whole debacle but a lot of people were not happy that he was finally speaking out or wasn't speaking out early enough or often enough or loud enough but ferg did give a response to why why he handles situations like this the way he does this is exactly how i deal with these things i am part of the group that really wants this camo i mean it's literally my favorite color and i've mentioned it on stream however after lashing out on x a couple of times in the past and causing chaos now i prefer to message privately about the community sentiment around these issues instead of making them even bigger hope this clears the air here and from his perspective this has been the best way for him to handle these situations whenever there are issues or he needs his voice to be heard it seems like he dms or he has private conversations or he has conversations messages directly with people that can do something about it he probably has a direct line to the white house you know what i'm saying something like something along those lines but people also got to understand that at the end of the day ferg as big as he is now 
is basically a businessman and he's not going to do anything to sabotage his relationship with one of his business partners. And it's something that the community has to understand is that these guys are essentially businessmen. They're conducting business and they're going to conduct themselves in a fashion that benefits them and will not sabotage their business, right? If he's making money from Call of Duty Mobile, do you really think he's going to want to sacrifice any of that income? Maybe it's just a portion of his several branches of income, but do you think he is willing to lose that income? If you have worked so hard to become the biggest creator for a game, do you really want to lose that? I don't think so. So for now, there really isn't any kind of resolution or conclusion to this saga. The only thing that we have left to look forward to is potentially some of this content coming in, again, future seasons. As far as season nine, Orbital Raiders, we may not be getting this content, but I will say crazier things have happened. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the like button. And if you would like to see more Call of Duty content, then make sure to subscribe. Huge shout out to the channel members. Thank you so much for the continued love and support. And as always, stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy. Peace.